Hi people, welcome back. You are watching Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And today I have with me an ex-BBN Niger housemate of the se of the lockdown season 2020. Praise. Hi. How Hi. Doing? How's it going? Fine, fine, very fine. Okay, Thank please you. just tell me really quickly how has your life been between when you left the house and or well, how you left the your own house before you entered the house and yeah. now? How's that been? Well, I wasn't popular for, for sure. Um, yeah. I was just a guy who likes to dance and do fitness and try to um, earn a living from that. So going into the house and coming out, it's a different ball game. Mm. Like the, the love I'm getting, the love I've been receiving from everyone is amazing. Yeah. Like, you know, I didn't expect to touch um, people's life the way um, um, I've seen. Yeah. So it's an amazing feeling. You know, I'm just taking one step at a time. I like basically. that. Okay, I know obviously it's not been too many days that you've been out, but I'm sure you've seen some of the clips and I guess you've watched yourself, if I can say that. Yeah. Are you satisfied with the way the show portrayed you in terms of your character and how you dealt with the housemates? Yes, um, pretty much yes, because um, I wanted to be praised. I wanted mm. to be myself. I'm a loud person. When I get comfortable with people, I'm very loud. And, mm. you know, I'm, always, I'm also a very present person. When I'm in a room, you know, my presence needs yeah, to be felt. So I, f I feel like my initial plan was to be myself, which is be present. And I was in the I house. I think the housemates took to you probably more than the viewers took to you. I think the housemates actually liked your personality and stuff. Or maybe that's just from how I watched it. So would you say that going out of the house now, you have found actual friends from the house? Yes, for sure, yes. Mm -hmm. I have, I have... Um, Name a few, give um, us names. Um, Prince, um, Lee Con, Dorothy, Lucy, mm. um, Eric. You know, Eric is someone I... Meeting Eric, I was really inspired by his um, um, personality, his shape, you know, mm. and, you know... Have I, you linked up since you left? No, the uh, media rounds have been very, very, you know, um, stressful from morning to night. And also mm -hmm. I've not had the opportunity to, but I definitely will. So now that you've become a viewer, is there any, um, let's say, a discovery that has completely shocked you to your bones? Um, About the house, of course. Um, not really. Not, not really. Um, okay. I feel like um, people who I didn't really understand very well, um, who I felt like were not straightforward um i'm i can beat my chest and say okay i guess that was the reason why i didn't understand this mm. person because you know this person is this or this mm. person is that but basically i don't think anything and i've seen anything di different from the housemates okay all right yeah. okay we're going to play a game right okay since you've been out there's been a lot of um headlines i have seen about yeah. you that you in fact they are crazy some are really wild some are like oh okay interesting and it's sometimes really hard to Will I say verify these headlines because yeah. everybody has a voice on, so on yeah. internet and social media. So we're going to play a game called Truth or Myth. Okay. I will read the headline and you tell me if it's legit or not. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So the first one is, what happened between Katrina and I shook my relationship? And so it's from Pulse. Is this true? Myth. Myth. Yeah. Okay. So tell us the truth then. What's the truth? Oh, I thought myth means, um, oh, truth? Yeah, so myth would be the lie that it's a myth, it's not true. And then true will be that this headline is actually true. Okay, yeah, because um, we've had conversations. So and you what? did say that? That we are not cool. No, that this that Katrina shook your relationship. No. You did not say I, that? I didn't say that. So it's a lie? Yeah, it's a lie. So yeah. your relationship is fine? Yeah, it's fine, yeah. And Katrina did not shake it? No, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I understand the game now. Yes, okay, yes, yeah, okay. Okay. So if, the, if, it's, if the headline is a lie, I'll say myth. Yes. But if it's true, I'll say true. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So praise reveals housemates with strategy to win 85 million Naira grand prize. Is it true? Did you reveal? Did you not reveal? Um, the, the person I feel like would win? Well, I think well, from what I read from that headline is yeah. that you were saying that Brito is the only person in the house that genuinely has a strategy and is yeah. playing a game to win that money, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, is he true? is. Yes, Brito's strategy is yeah, true. Yeah, true. Are you, will I say, are you down for the type of strategy? Is it something that you're okay with or do you have a problem with what his strategy is? No, I, I don't have a problem with what his strategy is. I feel like you're giving me politically No, no, I, I, I don't have a, a problem okay. with his strategy. I feel like he's smart and, you know, he wants the money, so... Mm. You know, Did you, you have a strategy? Yeah, just to be myself and be liked and hopefully everyone likes me and just mm. wants to see me win. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Lucy and I could have been something if we had more time. Myth. <laughs> nah. So yeah, Lucy did not have anything. Do you think Lucy had feelings for you? Yeah, she did. Okay. Yeah. Did you lead her on in any way? No. 
Are you sure about that? Because yeah. I saw you on what what Saturday was that? You were carrying each other. I think they're <laughs> happening. Yeah. You don't think that could have maybe you know nah. tickled her fantasy nah, a little bit more? No, nah, it's a Saturday party, and I'm like that with everybody. Okay. Yeah. Katrina and I just cuddled aggressively. Myth or truth? True. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, this one, I, mean, I, I was fortunate to actually take Katrina's interview yeah. first when she first left the house. And we had conversations about it on the show saying that, okay, did anything happen? No, I, I, I didn't want to ask her if anything happened because a lot of people had asked her that. So I asked her, I said, are you regretting that you people even allow that situation to happen so people can come and say you did or you didn't do something? So I'm going to ask you that same question. Do you think that that, because f- from the viewer's perspective, we can argue with you that you people had a two minutes long Boom, boom, under the bed, right? But um, obviously you said otherwise and Katrina said otherwise and stuff. Do you regret that that even happened for them, for there to be speculation or it is what it is? No, I don't regret it. I don't regret anything that happened in the house. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, I am a threat to the housemates and that's why they voted me out. This was another headline. Is this true or not? True. Mm. To all the housemates that voted you out, a threat to all of them. Yes. Why do you think that they saw you as a threat? Um, I, f- I, I feel like I was, um, after the first eviction show, that I was up, and the second I wasn't up, the third I wasn't up, and, you know, people started to speculate in the house that, okay, look, and they used me as an example in the house, like, look at Praise, he was up, and two weeks now, mm. nothing, you know, he's not in the bottom four or whatsoever, mm. and, you know, it's, 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 it, 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 um, it showed that I was getting stronger as a housemate and as a contestant, and you know, I feel Absolutely. like, yeah, it's strategy. And I don't know what I don't know what would have happened if I had remained. But then I feel like, yes, I was a threat. Do, I feel like do strategy. you think? What, do you have any? Um, would I say inclination of what could have been a, a, a decision deciding factor for you to even be in bottom four? Because you did give a lot of content to the housemates. I was not arguing. If you go to Twitter, you see that there was quite a lot of content that you were serving in the house. So what do you think caused that? I have no, no idea. I'm clueless. Mm. Okay. You know, I'm very clueless about it. All right. Okay. One more question. Uh, if like, we obviously you've watched the house and you say you're okay with how it was pre- represented, if there was anything else you could add, almost like to say this is also what praise is about on the house, just to show Nigerians, what would that have been, or do you think there was nothing else you could have offered? Um, I don't know. I, I can't say for sure because different different weeks, different task. So I don't know. I what I knew is I wanted to go outside of my box, which singing I had to sing at some point with Lecon, which we won, and I was very happy. So I was ready for anything. Like I was ready to explore myself, you know, to um, go outside the box. So I feel like if I was in the house, I would have learned um, to do um, stuff that are outside the box yep, for yep, me. Right. Yeah, okay. My... okay, let's talk about entanglements really quickly before we start running out of time. Okay. There's been a lot of entanglements in the house, um, and the dynamics have almost started to change a bit. Yeah. Um, I, let's talk about one entanglement now that I think concerns you, which is Lekon, because Lekon is your guy, and you've had quite a lot of opinions about that. And then Erica and um, Kidwire. What is actually going on in the house that we cannot see? Do you think that Erica is genuinely just leading Lekon on, or is it that Lekon is just having a hard time moving on, or is it that Kid is putting it in his face? What's actually happening with that triangle? Okay, um, first off, Lekon is my guy, Kid is my guy. Erica mm. is my girl. Mm. I have some sort of relationship with every single one of them. Right. But it's deeper with Lekon. Right. So um, I feel like the whole triangle with um, um, Erica, I don't think it's a triangle because um, Erica chose um, um, Kid and um, he hurt Lekon real bad because he had genuine feelings for her. And um, I had to always, you know, talk to him, you know, try to move on, try to move on. You're my guy. I feel like you have potential. And, you know, this whole um, thing is drowning you in the house. You're an artist and your artistic side have 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 pretty much died in the Mm. house because you're hurt and all. Sorry. And for um, Erica, I told her, look, you chose who you chose. Stick to who you chose, regardless of how anyone feels about it because they are all my friends and I'm going to give them advice Mm. that I would give myself and I asked and I also told Kid, are you sure um, you really um, have, um, what you're doing with this girl is for real? Are you sure you're not going to hurt her at the end? Mm. I had a conversation with him. I had a conversation with all of them so I would say yes. Don't worry, we watched you. We saw. saw. I would say yes. um, Lekon had has feeling for feelings for Erica and it's hard to move on when you know um, you see the person every day and you know Erica and Kid they're very very um 
physical about themselves. Wait, wait, I guess which is also why the same answer you're saying is also why people are speculating between you and Lucy is that in being in a house where you can't go out and you see this person every day and things like that, there's a possibility that you could have, you know, catch feelings for someone despite the fact that you might have commitment outside. Yeah. I also read somewhere that you, that it was it was a rumor that your wife or your fiance rather had given you the go ahead to do whatever it takes. Is that also? Um, yeah, I would say about that she'd like, you know, be yourself because mm. I'm, 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 I'm a very cool guy. I blend with people, you know, um, I don't think, you know, I know she didn't tell me go ahead and do whatever you want. Like but sleep she, with people, yeah, have things. Or have things with people. She, she'd be like, you know, go have fun, be yourself. That's what she said. She did. She never said go and do this. Or so you guys are not in an open relationship. No, I'm not in an open relationship. And is this relationship still going to continue? Are we going to see more of that? Um, we're, we're fine for now, and okay. that's all I can say. All right. Okay. Before we go, is there anything else we would be expecting from you going forward? Your fans are watching. They want to know how to support your you, whatever business it is. You have anything yeah. else? Yes. Entertainment see? wise, you know, I want to, I want, I want to um, do entertainment to the fullest. You of know, course. Um, modeling. You know, I know everyone know praise the dancer, praise the fitness guy who mm -hmm. likes to work out and dance. Mm -hmm. But then um, modeling. Um, um, acting, you know, branding, you know, I want to, I just want to spread my wings and fly. Right, of course. Yeah, I don't want to, I want to go out, I, I want to step outside my box, you oh, know. Absolutely. You never know what you can do until you try it. So absolutely. I'm pretty much going to Basically, you want to be challenged. Bit. We yes, got you. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Thank Grace, you very for much. joining me today. Thank you. And that is how we wrap up on this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on all the episodes of our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, will go to my co uncle Elsie Godwin, and if you well, Shuke, and the entire production th team. Thank you for watching Tea Time. My name is Ife Omai. Do stay safe.